Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbro's Gaming Channel. I am the dude. We're about to play Expeditions Viking. Now, previously we played the Expeditions Rome game, like demo, and I really liked it. So I went and bought this. This was on offer on Steam a while back, and I thought I'll get it. And then once a gap opens up, I shall chuck it in. So let's go have a go, see if this uh, if this is as good as or better. Um, right, so what we got? Preset Ragnar. It's on hard. Hard? Wait a minute. Ragnar Shaggy Breaches was a legendary Viking who raided and blackmailed France and England. He won power and wealth, but ultimately met a bloody death at the hands of his enemies. You will be met with great resistance, but your victory will be all the sweeter for it. Wow, okay. Can we. That's the preset. What's in the options? Okay. Can we just go on like a, a normal one? I'll go for Ivar being Lucy, like I even say it. Ivar, the boneless, was one of the leaders of the great heathen army that invaded Britain in the, ninth cent in the late 9th century. If you pick this setting, you may face major challenges, but you are likely to prevail in the end. Well, I like the sound of, like, prevailing. Um, let's go. Is it still Ivar? Yep. Okay. And only one save game. Let's go Iron Man, just to bump it up a little bit. Why not? Okay, so this is a role-play game. It reminds me a lot of like Baldur's Gate and stuff I used to play when I was younger. And, uh, ooh. Yeah, the Roman one was really cool. Okay, so we get to make our character. That's different. I am a Viking. Very slim Viking. I need to be fatter. What's the eye colour even, Matt? You can't see him. Oh. Go black. Uh, dude. Father's name. Old dude. What's my picture? Okay, well that looks more like that than the others. So we can make them thin, medium, large. We'll go medium, stubbles, whoa, scarred. Hang on, I thought I added it on the left hand side as well in the picture, I didn't, that's okay. We'll go stubbles, goatee, look at that beard. A thick Brady beard. Well, he's got a Brady beard. Let's go with Alex the same. What's this? Loose? No. I'll just leave it. Tunic? Simple. Wow. Leather clothes, huh? Fancy. Fur lined. I'll go with leather. Uh, bear. Yeah, we'll go bear, thank you. What kind of boots are we going to have? Sandals. Wrappings. Cloth shoes. We'll have the boots, thanks. Alright. Ah, oh, it's changing all the colours of everything. Okay, sweet. Ooh. Oh no. There you go, a bit of red and grey. That, that works for me. Yeah. All right. Oh, we get to take his stats as well. What kind of hairstyle you got, mate? Look at that. Like a, you've been wearing a hat for years. Right. We've got stat points to put on, I guess. Four. These were a base at five all over. So what's the sense do? Affects mental resistance and stamina. Sense is fundamental to witches, scolds, and other support characters. Often be used for persuasion in dialogue. Ooh. Right, what's endurance do then? Point base damage reduction, block chance, stamina. Yeah, standard stuff. Yeah, let's bump your strength up. We need to be a strong. What's about finesse? Um, perception. Okay, so. 
It's just a hardy Viking. That's what we want. Um. Okay. What else are we looking at over here? Born to old dude an Astridur in the year 769. Julian calendar. With mysterious brown eyes and hair as black as night, you've grown to be a strong and tough man. It gives you like a little description. That's really cool. What are these? Offensive skills? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, as we're Vikings, well, no, saying that, I was going to say we need an axe, but they, they made good steel swords. Uh, governed by strength, one hand in melee, upgrade. So what's this? Give me. How many skills have I got? 44. Okay. Spend 100. Ooh. Unarmed combat. Wouldn't mind some points in that. What's it give me? Spending free. Upgrade oh, upgrade costs there, look. Um okay, what's this? Shield. We'd we'll definitely have some shield points. We're gonna be good with sword and shield, as with all the games I play. That's how I like it. What are these? Offensive skills. Anticipate opening. The next attack will always be a critical attack. That's quite interesting. A charge. Makes a melee attack with plus five damage for every hex you move before attacking the target. Wow. It'll be a charger. Hang on, we've got support skills too. We should probably be looking at these. Oh, there's so many utility skills. Oh my goodness. Heavy sleeper. Wait. We need to cook. Oh my. Crafting. Adds the ability to craft weapons. Epic. I love that, thank you. And repair. Yeah, used up all my points. Perfect. What are these skills? Passive skills. Oh god. Probably could have used some of these, right? Grants 10% damage on enemies that have downed an ally. Oh, there's loads to choose from, guys. I don't know. I Hopefully we get some more characters to join us and we can sort of fill in our gaps as we progress. Are you satisfied? Yeah, I think so. Logic. Artists. was a great warrior and a good husband, but he was not a strong chieftain to his clan. As he travels to join his brothers in the halls of Valhalla, he good must shot. take his place. Our clan is beset by petty squabbles. Nice. Some amongst our people would contest your claim to leadership, as they saw discord our neighbor's plot against us. Gather your most trusted clansmen. Together you will face dangers which none can predict. You will be challenged on your leadership, your resolve, your wisdom. Build a ship and take your housecarls across the sea. Power and strength for our clan must be sought outside the Norsemans. If you show yourself to be bold, the gods will follow you into battle. Your legacy will live for a thousand years beyond your time. Our clan must prevail. Surely if we should deal with our enemies on land first? Otherwise we're gonna be gone and you're gonna be have less troops. <coughs> Ooh. Okay. Let's have a look. Your father's last journey was bound for the British Isles. Less than half of his crew returned. So old dude was not a good leader. <laughs> damn it. You damn old dude. Aid me, Odin, in my effort to bind the struggles of a bygone time as glittering light on glass. Oh, okay. Here we go. Um, right. It is even after your father's funeral. Mm, my daddy. When you close your eyes, the image of his blazing ship shimmers in the dark. Behind your eyelids. It's not a common ritual this far south, but your mother, Astridir who hails from the land of the Geats, 
insisted on it. All the Fagans, what? Fanes of the neighboring clans have come to attend your feast in his honor. Your father may not have been the most successful Thane, but as a warrior, he commanded the respect of many. The guests are filling, filing into your father's your log house. The Fanes enter first, each trailing a modest group of warriors. Your mother leans in to whisper a few words of advice before she takes her seat. You should greet each of the Fanes before the feast begins, but listen well to their words. I, I'd put on a better voice if I can't. Few of them would benefit from making this a smooth transition. It, it will be important to know where they stand. Okay, so ooh, uh, camera moves around with WASD. Oh, characters with golden name plates have dialogue for you. Okay, so I've got to talk to all of these. Okay. Uh, the icon over your chair is the quest marker. Over your chair, so this. Uh, more independent playing experience. Goal. Uh, you can turn it off now. I'd rather know where I'm going. Talking to the other fanes is not mandatory, marked by the silver quest markers, which indicate optional objectives. When you want to move on, just take a seat by clicking on your chair. Okay, so we want to talk to everyone first. Okay, so we can move the camera with WASD, and we move around just by pointing and clicking. Let's talk to you. Are you kidding? Your name is Rorik Old Dudson. <laughs> oh, it's my brother, that's why he's named after Dad. <laughs> Your elder brother Rurik always had a penchant for music. He looks up and gives you a warm smile as you approach him. Got Kveld, brother, Rurik grins. I mean, my honoured Thane. How do you feel? Um, I'm fine, how about you? Rurik shrugs. You can barely hear his soft voice over the din of the feast. I'm certain father is feasting with Odin now. The old man will surely be more at home in Valhall than he ever was here. How's everyone been treating you, bro? Everyone knows you are the better warrior and a stronger willed man than I. Nobody wants me as their thane. To tell you the truth, I think our clansmen are almost as relieved as I am that you took on the mantle. I have to go and be a good host. I'll talk to you later. Just use the old signal if you need help to get out of a conversation with one of the other fanes. He probably flashed you a cheeky grin. <laughs> Excellent. He seems all right. We'll take him with us. He's our brother after all, and he's, Busy his name is awesome. Your guests. Kettle is standing off to a side, holding a horn full of mead. Your name is Kettle. Okay. The young hunter appears to be watching the feast with a faintly amused expression, and he nods respectfully when you come near. Busy entertaining your guests? Not too busy to check in on you. I've had an uneasy feeling all night. Have you seen school's huskals over there in the corner? Hrogerda and Skaki. I've heard stories about them. Nefja seems to be expecting trouble too, so I've decided to go easy on the mead and keep an eye out. You seem... I appreciate that. See... He throws his head back slightly towards Asself. Wow. Speaking of which, keep an eye on the big lug back there. He and his friends have been putting their heads together all night. I think he might be planning something. Uh, he's family. It doesn't mean anything, does it? I'll keep an eye on him. Leave the watch to me. This is your feast. You should relax and enjoy yourself. I'll alert, alert you if something happens. But what about if you're the bad guy? Uh, let's go talk to that guy right now. As far as a distant cousin, the leadership of the clan has moved between your side of the family and his for generations. He's known as a skilled warrior and a hard worker. Asalafer sits with his two closest friends. Our condolences on oh. the passing of your father. At least he died the way he would have wanted. He will be feasting with the gods tonight. Thank you, I hope there is no bad blood between us. Uh, 
he considers it for a while. It's no secret I didn't agree with how old dude ruled our clan, bearing this in mind. I don't see what gives you the right to succeed him. But this feast is in his honour. I will not insult his memory here, nor will I challenge your claim to leadership. I'll just thank him. Thank you for keeping these things separate. Okay, so we can't trust him. He's going to challenge us. Where is Erlinger? They're talking. Right, we've got to pay attention to this stuff. Find out who we can trust here, haven't we? Let's go speak to this guy. Huff. Half Dunner is the fane of a slightly larger clan that borders your lands to the east. He swears a solemn expression and nods heavily when you approach him. Old dude is in Valhall now. Dude, there is no doubt about it. He died doing what he loved. But while he feasts among the heroes, you're left back here to sort out the pieces. You've got your work cut out for you. What do you mean? Your father managed to make quite a few enemies in his time, most of them among his own clan. If you'll permit me to be honest, he never paid one speck of attention to the wishes or needs of his people. Oh no. Surely you're not expecting your claim to leadership to go uncontested. Um. There we go. I'll stand my ground a little bit. We'll sort it out in a traditional way. Good. Worst problems than this have been solved at the tip of a spear or the edge of a blade. May the gods favour you if it comes to that. He empties his mug of mead in a single gulp, then slams the mug onto the table and calls to a thrall for a refill. A thrall is like someone that works for you. Um, a sc a school skull cleaver is the fane of gelling which borders your area. Jelling is a large territory and school is one of the most powerful fanes in Jutland. Jelling has prospered under his rule. Skill pushes himself away from the table with his foot, the chair making a grinding sound across the wooden floor. His face shows earnest sympathy. Dude, my boy, so sorry about your father. If there's anything the people of Jelling can do to aid you in these times, don't hesitate to ask. That's very kind of you, Fane School. Of course, we must all stand together against the Frankish threat. Frankish being French. School leans towards you, resting his elbow on the table. Tell me, what are your plans for this place? How will we lead your clan? Well, we need a favor of the God. I wish to be in I'll start by building a folk moot. What's, what's a folk moot? Um, I'm thinking defences. You really are old dude's son, aren't you? Just take care not to lose touch of your people's knees and your eagerness to defend them. He lets out a deep sigh and leans back into his seat. I'm sure you know I fought with your father many years ago. We were very much of a similar inclination, he and I. That man had a real taste for battle, not like his brothers. Mark my words, dude. True bonds are forged in battle, not bound in blood. So I can trust you more than I can trust the family, huh? He came to me for advice before he mounted his last journey on account of my ties to Kulpang. <laughs> I'm butchering every name in this game. I should have warned him better about what he was getting himself into. What does Kulpang have to do to it? Vikings out of Kulpang. I've been to the Isles across the sea. I've heard many stories about it since I often go there to trade. Your father wanted to hear if the stories were true. Ah, but I'm taking too much of your time already. I, I know you have other guests to entertain. Perhaps we'll talk later after a bit more mead. Mead. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, yeah we've got more people to talk to. There's a lot of talking going on here, isn't there? Right, up we go. You. you. Ragnhilda the White is the most influential of your guests. As the vassal of King Svihinge, she is the current ruler of Denmark. She? Oh. Flutters. Okay. She has come from the trade of Hu hub of Ribe to the south, where she presides as Jarl. 
Oh, I see. She nods politely as you approach her seat. It was a beautiful ceremony, dude. I extend my condolences for your loss on behalf of Ribe and of the King. I must tell you, I advised him not to seek out the Isles across the sea. We've all heard the stories of the unprotected coasts and their treasures, but there is more danger than the rumours let on. I'm not surprised they claimed his life, but I am glad at least he died with a sword in his hand. Um, did you know him well? I knew him as a warrior. We fought together on the Brave Lair, and he struck me as a shrewd tactician. When your king needs you, I hope that you will serve him as well as your father did. Uh, there we go. My father taught me everything. I would expect nothing less of the man, but remember that no amount of practice is a substitute for actual experience. Thank you for the acceptance. We are honoured that you could make it. Of course, your father's sword will be missed in our struggles against the Franks. The old chill maiden smiles. She gracefully slides back down into her seat, whereupon she spears a large piece of chicken with her knife and dumps it into a, onto a plate. Okay. Nefjar. There this is the are. other one. Oh, okay. The feast seems to be off to a good start. She's one of our oldest friends. Your families have always been close and you grew up together in the village. She's just finished pouring your mother a mug of mead. It's nice to see you out of your armor for once. You've seen my sister in this dress before. Surely that's the same thing. I guess so. She closes her eyes and rubs the bridge of her nose with a finger. God, she was excited to see me like this. I've never, I'll never hear the end of it. Where is a Führer? A sardonic undertone creeps in Nefja's voice. My poor sister has a fever again. She has such a frail constitution. This wet cold is hard on her. Mother stayed home to care for her. What do you think of our guests? Your fellow fanes are certainly a proud and graceful bunch, even as they plot to murder you and take our lands. <laughs> That's certainly the sense I'm getting. Oh, I'm sure not all of them are actively planning to kill us. I have a weird feeling about Skill, though. I doubt they call him Skull Cleaver for no reason. Weren't he the one I trusted the most? Halfdanner plays the lovable old grump, but I know he's had his eye on our harbour for years. Ragenhilda, I'm not sure about. She probably has nothing to gain from destroying us, but she's little more than Sigurdas, Ringers appendage and who knows where he stands watch your back oh man I can't at least I know you and him all right this was oh, man okay we'll keep our friends close following the initial meet and greet everyone toasts your father and digs into the meal food covers every inch of the table and a freshly brewed mead seems to flow endlessly uh oh you received mead. You gained a bunch of rations and a new goal. Take a seat. You're listening to Nefja's usual complaints about her mother when Ket Kettle perks up and slips discreetly out of the longhouse outside. Some piece of pottery crashes against the ground and men begin to shout, Oh no! Kettle! In short order, the door flies open and doorway is filled by Otar Erlingson sword in hand. Outside you see his brother standing over the prone form of Kettle. Otar looks around the room with disgust. What a splendid feast for such a... hmm, fane. Bad fane. <laughs> Otar's gaze stops on you. He raises his sword to point at you accusingly. Dude, your family had its chance to earn our respect and you wasted it. Come outside and defend your honour or we will burn this hall to the ground. Nefjar jumps to her feet, already holding her knife. Her voice seethes with disgust. What are you, miserable drunkard? How dare you attack your fane's honour during his own feast? Your family will pay for this. Otta has turned his back on you and is already walking back outside. All the other guests turn their gaze to you in anticipation. Your mother leans in to whisper in your ear. You have to handle this. If the other fanes think you are too weak to deal with such a blow against your family's honour... Um, 
are you with me? She is definitely going to be with me. Yeah, by the gods, he's going to make us kill us kill him this time, isn't he? Let's go. Let's go sort this out. You shouldn't have. Oh, right. I hope Kettle is all right. Is there somewhere else I need to go? You should. Oh wait, 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 wait. Heirloom sword. Wait, wait. Take. Double click. Cut. Do I need to take everything? Goodness me. Okay, I will. Fine. Go into the inventory. Oosh. Put that on there. I have that on there. Mead. I want to keep that on us. Equipment. All equipped items in your possession. Show up here. Use the bottom of the scroll. Drag items into the slot to equip them. Specific items go into specific slots. Got it. And what's this? Each character can carry two sets of weapons. And can freely switch between them in combat. Click this button. Okay. So we'll look out for that button in combat. Finesse. Knives and spears. She's like major on knives and spears. Alright, she's got knives. The inventory also displays a few extra useful pieces of information about each character. Here you can see the character's primary stats. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's go. Let's go beat this guy. With my friend. My friend. Oh, Viking friend. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh wait, no, is this just everyone come out to watch? Most of the guests follow you outside and form a half circle behind you, dimly aware of the other fanes muttering among themselves. I've got to whoop this guy so he doesn't think anything. Nefjar runs over to Kettle to help him back on his feet. A streak of blood runs from his hair down his cheek, but it looks like he can still fight. Four against one. This is what the sons of Erlinger f for Gilson. Consider a fair fight. <sighs> Shut your mouth, woman. He start started it. Will you be a right kettle? It's nothing. Toast hits like a little girl. In fact, no. I'm certain Nefjar could do far more damage when she was little. Toast, you sniveling little beep. Come over here and say that again. If you crave a fight, there's proper ways to handle this. Altar shifts his weight restlessly as he regards the fanes assembled behind you. Too late for second thoughts. When Asl is our fane, he can judge the honour in what happens here tonight. Where's he? Ah, uh, Asl Fur. You've gone too far, Altar. There's no honour in this. I must take dude's side here. Good man. He draws his weapon. For a moment, confusion mixes with fright in Otter's eyes, but he quickly composes him for fine, we'll kill you all. Then I'll be fain. <laughs> Alright. Holy moly! Alrighty. So Combat is an important aspect of the game. Defeat those does not necessarily mean game over. You will usually be able to continue, and the story may change in some cases. Oh I see, okay, that's cool. Combat. During combat, blue hexes appear under your allies. Whoop. Red under your enemy. Got it. You can make default attacks against enemies by clicking on them. The cursor changes to a sword or arrow. In addition to normal attacks, remember to use your character's abilities. When the conditions for an ability are not met, it will be greyed out. Alright. Let's go smack this one. Schmeck. Shows you how much damage you do to him as well. That's cool. Well, you got a spear? Where did you get that from? Oh, you can spear him from there. See, we dealt with him well easy. Yeah, I'll shoot him. Nice one. Good to have you with us. Is this the guy over here? I think so. Our Erlingson. Yeah. And 
they're all Erling's son. Okay, right. Let's split it up then. You go stand on him. <laughs> uh, you go deal with this guy. I'll take two of you. You got grey hair? You're not like old. Okay, status effects. Any status effects applied to a character will show up the above hit points bar. Status effects can last anywhere from a few rounds to several in-game hours. Some are permanent. Oh my goodness. Fatigue is one of the most punishing status effects and will last as long as a character is still tired. Resting during camping will get rid of it. That's kind of cool. Alright. Okay, so what do we do? End our turn. The graphics and everything are pretty good, to be fair. The Rome one was good. This ain't far off. All right, let's go. You're in the way. You are going to have to let him through. Go stab him. Nice. Go chop him in half. Very nice. Um, you. Come here. Got cover as well. Nice. I love the bow and arrows. I love them. All right, go cut him. What? What else you got? Nothing. We've not killed them by the look of it. Victory. Whenever you finish combat, you'll see the screen. That's a few vital pieces of information. The character was injured during combat. Any new injuries will be displayed here. Good. Existing injuries because they got smacked in the head. Right. Here you will see items still equipped by your herdmen. If you used any items during combat, it will be shown here as well. And it shows here you will see items equipped by each character. Any items that lost durability during the fight will be indicated with an arrow down. Oh, okay. And then we got to think about repairs, which I can do groans as he tries to sit up the frozen earth. Kettle walks over to the soundly defeated farmer and kicks his weapon away. Otar's surviving brothers are slowly getting to their feet as well. None of them has any fight left in them. Nefjar regards the survivors with a mixture of disdain and sadness. What do we do with them? Well... These guys were a bunch of peanuts. They wanted to kill everyone. Are they drunk, though? Let them go. It's not a day for killing Vikings. This is my father's funeral. Brothers pick up their weapons and leave just dejectedly. Their pride has suffered a tremendous blow tonight, and this is not like to be the last you've heard of it. Your guests look on with solemn expressions that you that don't reveal what they think of the act of mercy. Didn't want this, but you all saw what happened here. These men left me no choice. This is what happens to my enemies. Everyone here would do well to remember that. What, we let them go? There we go, we'll do this. Anyone who has a dispute with me can observe our customers and challenge me to a duel, but I will not be ambushed at my own feast. That he looks at the least bit tired. He looks not the least bit tired from the fight. Well, he only took two swings, mate. I supported you here tonight because Otter and his brothers were out of line. It is not the way of our clan to kill each other in drunken brawls. Dude, son of old dude, I challenge you to a duel for the position of fame. What? Right now? An excited murmur arises among the guests. Kettle mutters in a voice too low for anyone other than you, Nefjar, to hear. Can you believe this? Big Jew Sonia. It's his right to issue such a challenge. His timing could be better, though. All right, I accept your challenge. We will meet on Holmgang Island at noon on the morrow. May the gods favour you. Okay, of course. But I'm glad you said that, like, tomorrow, not, not now. Exploration. Click on the compass, Rose, to open the area map. This shows the layout of the area with points of interest in your current position marked. Okay, I will. Where is that? 
No. Oh. oh, so we've got points of interest. We should probably... Campaign map. Burial site. Campaign map. They're all campaign maps, are they? That looks so familiar. That is a Baldur's Gate thing, I'm sure. A witch's hut. And a blacksmith. Ooh, there's a blacksmith. Let's go have a look. Uh, Mum and friend and kettle, they all want to speak. There's a lot of speaking in this, isn't there? Right. Let's go speak to him then. I can't believe it came to this. A man that bitter with sons that stupid. It was just a matter of time. We'll have to deal with Erlinger after the duel tomorrow. We were unquestionably in the right tonight, but we dealt a great blow to Erlinger. Time will tell. Okay. Let me fight him. I can handle him. I have to take this fight myself, you know that. You have the right to ask another to fight on your behalf. I'm not doing that. If others see that another war is willing to risk her life for you, that is just as worthy of respect if you beat Alistair. Al Alistair. Asselfair yourself. That is what being a fang is all about. Um, let's see what happens. Of course, my sword is yours if you change your mind. I've got some good friends here. We have to keep them. Okay, dark eyes size you up under elaborately braided hair. There's something mysterious and dangerous about this woman. Is she the witch? You made short work of those mules, man after my own heart. How's that? Nobody messes with me <laughs> and lives. You seem to be similarly inclined. I must admit, no pleasure, not pleasure, no, but satisfaction, surely. A well-deserved victory. Thank you. I'm glad I got a chance to meet you now. I'm sure this won't be the last time we see each other. She holds up her cup in salute, then slivers away in the crowd without asking you to leave. Mm-hmm. Mum. Mummy. Your mother wraps you in a warm embrace. There is a hint of tears in her eyes. Well thought, my child. Your father would be so proud. The clan's at war with itself. Was father really such a poor thing? Old dude was always more of a warrior than a leader, but he was no worse than most. This isn't really about him. It's about ambition and greed. There'll be another fight tomorrow. I know. Asselfer is a skilled warrior. You would do well to take some to make some preparations. Uh, I will face him on equal terms. Don't be ridiculous. This duel could be to the death. There are no rules to break in such a contest. You need every advantage you can get. It may not seem like it right now, but most of our clan remains law to us. If nothing else, then because they'd prefer you as Fane over Alpha. Go to Holder in the bog. Ask for help. She is old and wise, and she has many ways to weaken a man. Um, I don't want to trick him. There is another option other than poison. Sigridir may have an idea. She is good at setting traps for the creatures of the forest. She may know of a trap large enough for a man. Other than that, Cavell de Ver may be willing to get you some better equipment. You shouldn't go into the duel with those old weapons. Old dude gave you for your training. You're right. That's the way I want to do it. Let's go see the blacksmith. There he is. The smith Kevaldur has retreated to the familiar confines of his workshop where he's engaged in energetic discussion with his wife, Dagadir. Oh. Objects that can be looted or interacted with. Some of these objects are deliberately hidden. See which objects can be interacted with. Hold down. Hold down the highlight all button. What's the highlight all button? Okay. They break it up when they see you coming and drag it there once off to find someone else with whom to the gossip. So Erlinger finally lost control of his idiot sons, did he? Glad to see you made it out. To be honest, the sons looked older in the picture than 
than the old man. I'm a mess in one piece. It's been a long time coming. Seems like everyone anticipated the, the attack except me. Uh, no, we just want your help. I heard. Sorry, my boy. I'm not getting involved. I've known you both since you were small children. You used to help out on the smithy. I won't have either of your blood on my conscience. I don't plan to kill him. I have to beat him to defend my seat. Such things rarely go according to plan. In the heat of the moment, with a sword in your hand, I won't be responsible. The decision is final. Sense easy. Denying my request will not keep Asil for safe. It will only put me in danger. I succeeded. You calmly lay out your view of the situation, explain how refusing to help you is an implicit help to Asilfer, and how the imbalance in your equipment is more likely to get you killed than to protect Asilfer. Okay. Kveldiver crosses his arms and squints at you for a long moment, then he re releases a sigh. He does have a poor head for tactics, but will not give you steel to swing against him. However, I can help you stay safe. Let me get you a good sturdy set of quilted armour. It'll serve you better than that shirt you're wearing. Hey, this is leather. The smith disappears into the back of his shop, re-emerges with a thick quilted shirt in his hands. He presents it to you with a solemn nod. This is the best I can do to aid you. If the fight goes well, you can keep it. Thank you. Um, I, Eki, at Daka. Just be careful out there. <laughs> with that, Kvelda seems to decide he's done enough smithing for today and he starts the nightly ritual, meticulously putting his tools back in their place. Nice. Thank you. Right, let's um Let's put that on, double click it there. There we go. I'm ready. I'm ready to rock and roll. But you know what? We're going to rock and roll on the next episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know below in the comments if you think we should continue on and get this journey done i know there's been a lot of talking hopefully there will be more some more fighting in the next episode and uh we'll sort of have a look about now i'm gonna see i can see the whole map i'm gonna look this is where the witch is okay all right so we'll fight for the for the right to run this place on the next episode if you've enjoyed the content please do leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more daily videos until that next one take care the dude is out <laughs>